God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll begin our lesson in chapter 44 of the book of Genesis. I want to thank God again for all of you that stayed with us in this ministry. Some of you have been very, very loyal, and I appreciate you so very much. Also, we have newcomers. I want you to know that you're welcome, and I, I'm glad that you logged on to begin watching this ministry. We get new followers all the time, and I thank God for you that follow me uh, on Facebook or friend me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. Uh, we, we thank God for all of you. You're a blessing to me to know that you are watching. Well, God is blessing this ministry, and he's blessing it in so many ways. I ask that you continue to pray for us, that God will anoint me for his service. I couldn't do it without the anointing of God, and God has blessed me over the years and has anointed me to do whatever I set my hand to do. But I realize I need your prayers. I'm not in this alone. I can't do it by myself. So please pray for me and this ministry that God will get the glory out of it. Uh, let me mention again, coming very soon, in next week, I'll be singing at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in San Antonio, Texas, by the Riverwalk, 600 East Market Street, San Antonio, Texas. The gospel, the Texas Gospel Announcers Guild is, uh, is having their 24th anniversary celebration, and I'm asked to be one of the singers that sang there. I ask that you pray for me that God will anoint my voice to reach many. God is, is so good. I, I, I want you to pray for me. I do a lot of things, and I'm moving all the time, and I need you to pray for me that God give me strength. In our coming week, that, that will be the, sex, uh, the Thanksgiving week, uh, I may not get a complete five broadcast out there because I'm preparing for the holiday and also practicing for the, uh, the oncoming uh, uh, show that I will have to sing at at the Grand Hyatt Hotel. Uh, so uh, I can't do everything and give 100% to all of it, but I need to focus on uh, uh, focus on uh, uh, doing a good program for this coming week. Uh, oh, that's uh, in November the 28th, 29th, and 30th, I'll be there. So to protect my voice, I may not get out a complete five, but I will get, get you at least three. I guarantee you that. So you stay tuned, stay tuned uh, and, and uh, log on, and you'll get a fresh message. Uh, uh, at least three times this week and the other two days I might rebroadcast one but I ask that you pray that God will use us in everything that we do I need your prayers let's go to the lesson today we'll begin reading in verse 1 of chapter 44 uh, now we got to get the picture let's, let's, let's recap just a little bit on chapter uh, 43 now, Benjamin, uh, Joseph had seen Benjamin for the first time since he had left now. And you got to get, get the complete situation here. Uh, 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 he had saw Benjamin. He had uh, invited these men up to his house. And, and uh, he, uh, he gave them messes of things, messes of food, uh, or, or gatherings of whatever he sent them. And, and he gave Benjamin five, more, five times more than the rest because Benjamin was his real brother. Now, they were not together in the same room at that time because it was against the Egyptian law for them to eat with Hebrews. And so, uh, uh, to make a long story short, Joseph dined in one part of, the, uh, of this mansion and uh, 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 Joseph's brothers dined in another. Now, let's, let's, uh, let's read here in verse 1 of chapter 44. Uh, and he commanded the steward of his house, saying, Fill the men's sack with food, as much as they, ca they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack's mouth. Uh, now you got to understand, Joseph, you can say he's playing games with him, or whatever you want to call it. Well, he had every right to do so uh, by the way they treated him. They, they, they tried to kill him. You might as well say they tried to kill him and uh, caused him to be a slave for a number of years. And so Joseph, uh, I won't say he's playing games with us, but, but he's doing things and experiencing the moment, if I can put it that way. So he, he commanded his men, after they had dined, to, to put, fill their sacks with food, you know, put plenty of food there, but then put every man's money back uh, in the mouth of the sack. Uh, as we read verse 2, And put my cup, the silver cup, 
in the sack's mouth of the youngest, and his grain's money, and his grain's money, and he did according to the words that Joseph had spoken. Uh, now the youngest is Benjamin. Now you got to get that, in, keep that in your focus. Uh, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin was Joseph's full blood brother. They had the same mother and the same father. The other brethren, now, they had a different mother. They were all brothers. They were all the, the, the sons of Israel. They were all uh, the children of Israel. But, but uh, in Joseph's eye, and also, you might as well say, in, uh, in, uh, in Israel's eye as well, uh, uh, this was a special child. Uh, so keep your eye on Benjamin here. Uh, and he, he commanded them to put uh, uh, the cup of silver in the sack's mouth of the youngest, which was Benjamin, uh, and his grain's money, and he did according to the word that Joseph had spoken. In verse 3, as soon as the morning was light, the men were, were sent away, and uh, uh, they and their asses loaded down. you got to understand, they took the animals down to carry food back. You got to understand they had their sacks, but they took the animals with them. They had a lot of uh, a lot of a uh, lot of asses, donkeys, whatever you want to call it, and, and they loaded it down with food, just as Joseph had commanded them to do. But they put that cup in the youngest brother's mouth, and all of the money uh, that they had sent, he put it in each of the sacks uh, of food uh, for each individual. Verse three: As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away. And, uh, and their asses, verse 4, and when they were gone out of the city and not, uh, not yet far off, Joseph said to his steward, Up, follow, and follow after the men, and when thou doest overtake them, say unto them, Wherefore have ye rewarded evil for good? Verse 5, uh, uh, is not this it? Uh, in which my Lord drinketh, and whereby indeed ye, ye divineth, uh, ye have done evil uh, in so doing. Uh, get this picture now. He told his servant to go do this. Now also keep in mind that that uh, Joseph uh, put uh, had him put the cup uh, in Benjamin's sack. Shall we read? And he overtook him uh, and spoke unto these uh, to them these same words. Spoke these same words that, that Joseph had told him to say unto them. And they said unto him, Wherefore saith my Lord these words? God forbid that thy servant should do according to this thing. Behold, the money which we found in our sack's mouth, we brought again unto thee out of the, out of the land of Canaan. How then should we steal out of, out, out of thy Lord's house silver and gold? So you got to understand, these men quickly come into their defense. Uh, how would we do these things? We wouldn't do this. You got to understand, you know how we do, especially when we're, we're accused of something we didn't do. We want to tell everybody I didn't do it. Uh, what? How would we do this? Uh, how could we do such a thing? The man was so kind to us. Let's read in verse 9. Uh, with whomsoever of thy servants it be found, uh, uh, both let him die, uh, and we also will be my Lord's slaves. Uh, get that now. Now these, this is coming out of the sons of Israel. One of the one of the uh, one of the sons, other than Joseph and Benjamin, this was coming out of his mouth now. Shall we continue reading in verse 10? And he said, Now also let it be according unto your words. He with whom it is found shall, shall be my servant, and ye shall be blameless. Can you get what he said? The one that is found, that this cup is found on. Him, he's the one. Let me read 10 again for you. And he said, Now also let it be according to uh, unto your words, uh, with whom it is found, uh, shall be my servant. Uh, with whom it is found. Now, who was it found on? Uh, it was found in Benjamin's sack, uh, sack. Am I correct about it? And ye shall be blameless. Uh, Let them know the one that is found, uh, that one will be the servant, and the rest of you will be blameless. Uh, shall we continue reading? Uh, and they speedily took down every man his sack to the ground, uh, and opened every man his sack. 
And he searched and began at the eldest, see, uh, and ceased at the youngest. Uh, and the cup was found uh, in Benjamin's sack. Uh, well, can you can you understand what might have went on in their heart? Their heart probably probably dropped. Uh, it was found in Benjamin's sack. Uh, here we are in trouble again. Uh, if we go back to our daddy without Benjamin, uh, it's gonna kill him, or either he gonna kill us. I don't know which one. But can you understand their heart drop now uh, because it was in Benjamin's sack? Uh, well, let's continue reading uh, verse thirteen. Uh, and they tore their clothes uh, and. And loaded every man his ass and returned to the city. Verse 14, and Judah and his brethren came to Joseph's house, for he was yet there, and they fell before him on the ground. And Joseph said unto them, what deed is this uh, that ye have done? Know ye not that, uh, that such a man as I can can uh, certainly divine. Uh, you got on it now. Get the word divine now. Uh, you know what we we think divine something wonderful and something so beautiful. Uh, but also uh, uh, divine means uh, 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 discern spirits. Uh, well, you got to understand. There's a, there's an evil discerning and there's also a discerning of God. A uh, divine anyone with the spirit of divination that's the spirit of the devil. Uh, uh, but but a person that that God uses uh, the same term term is used to divine uh, or to uh, uh, to interpret or to uh, to discern spirits. Uh, let's read in verse 16 and Judah said, uh, "What shall we say unto thy Lord to my Lord? What shall shall we speak uh, or how shall we clear ourselves?" Uh, question mark. Uh, God has found out the iniquity of thy servants. Uh, behold, we are my Lord's servants. Uh, both we and he also with whom the cup is found. Uh, here they are. They said we'll, we're guilty. Uh, in other words, now we're just paying for what we did to our brother. Uh, we're paying, we're getting paid back. Uh, and it's the truth. You will reap what you sow. Now you know that now. That's the word of God. Uh, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Uh, for whatsoever of a man soweth there, that shall he also reap. And here these men say, we're only getting back what we put out. We're paying for the sins that we committed to our brother. I'll read one more verse. Uh, and he said, uh, Lord, God forbid that I should do so, uh, but the man in whose hand the cup is found, uh, he shall be my servant. Uh, and uh, and as, as for you, uh, you get you up in peace unto your father. In other words, this is the way it's going to be. The one the cup is found on, that's the one we're going to take. That's the one we're going to keep. And now be my, my servants. The rest of you shall go. Well, let me read one more verse for clarification. Uh, clarification. Then Judah came near unto him and said, O oh, my Lord, let thy servant, I pray thee, Speak a word in my Lord's ear, and let not thine anger burn against thy servant, for thou art even as Pharaoh. Well, this brother wanted to talk to him. You got to understand now, if they'd have went back to, to Israel, went back to Canaan land without Benjamin, that would have brought either, either brought the death of their father, or remember the words that Judah had spoke when he left. If I come back, then you can kill me, or you can kill my firstborn, uh, uh, I'll be your, I'll be as a slave. You remember his words uh, in that category. Uh, he said, he, he said, if I don't bring this boy back, uh, then me, you can count, uh, put it on my head. Uh, put it on me uh, if I don't bring him back. Remember all these words that, that he spoke. Uh, and here now Benjamin detained. Uh, what would it have done to, to Israel? Uh, what would it have done to the rest of the, the children of Israel? You got to understand all these things going in their mind. You got to understand, get this really, uh, the people, the men, the women in the Bible, uh, they were people just like you and I. Uh, they had feelings just like you and I. Uh, when trouble came upon them, uh, they feared like you and I would. Uh, they wouldn't, they didn't know what to do like you and I wouldn't know what to do. You got to get, get this in your mind. Uh, get that, 
get the franticness that they were going through. Uh, and Judah said, Judah saying here, look, let me talk to you. He wanted to talk to Joseph. Uh, and, and he built him up a little bit like, like you're the second to Pharaoh. Uh, but I need to talk to you and don't be angry with me. He had to get this resolved. Uh, well, my friends, we're going to talk about it further in our next lesson. But I want you to know that I love you. Uh, I love you with the love of God. Uh, if, if you would like to contact me for any reason, uh, you can write me at the Work with Chester Ministry, the post office box 200483, San Antonio, Texas, 78220. You can also reach me at my website, www.poemsbychester.com. That's P O E M S by Chester.com. Remember, I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you.